Welcome to Kelton Tech Solutions at Mulesoft Connect 2017. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to import an email attachment using POP3 connector of Mulesoft, convert the email attachment contents into an XML document, log the XML content into the Mulesoft console, and also place the contents of the XML document as a file into the file system. On my screen, I have a brief explanation of this project. The flow is depicted in this picture, wherein I have a POP3 connector uh, as an inbound endpoint for this flow, which is going to monitor a specific email account mailbox for any emails with attachments. The contents of the email are further processed to, you know, as to convert it into payload. And that payload is in turn converted into an XML file using the data mapper. The contents of the XML, the converted XML is logged into MuleSoft and as well as it is also placed as a file onto the file system. Let's go to MuleSoft designer any point studio and see how this application behaves when I try to run the service. I have a POP3 connector as an important point just like I said right now. It is configured to monitor the Calton Tech demo at gmail.com user account and rest of the configurations are standard configurations for the pop 3 email server. The attachments are further converted into uh, payload using expression transformer and set payload nodes. At this point of uh, the flow, we have the XML or CSV payload in the MuleSoft exchange, uh, sorry, MuleSoft and that CSV file is converted into XML using the data mapper. The output of the XML format is going to be in this format. I could see the preview in the data mapper section. And this content is logged into, logged as a string into the MuleSoft console. And also the contents are written into the file system using the file connector. Let me send an email with an attachment input.csv. It's a CSV file that contains a set of sales orders. So I'm depicting myself as a third party application which is exchanging sales order data in the form of SMTP to the MuleSoft. As soon as I send the email, your message has been sent. I'm expecting the MuleSoft process to be kicked off. And in the console, I could see the progress of the execution of this flow. If you see that at 11 of 4, which is right now, it started showing some progress. Yes, if you see that the email attachment has been picked up by the process and it got converted into the XML format at 11.04. So this is the XML file. We just logged that contents into um, MuleSoft console using this logger node. So we are able to see the log message on the screen itself. Also, this file character is used to log the contents into uh, the file on this location. So let's go to that specific folder in my workspace, email attachment to XML demo, source, test, resources, output. If you see that at 11.04, my orders.xml file got created. If you want to view the contents of it, which are exactly similar to what got showed, what was showed in this MuleSoft console. 
I hope this gives <clears throat> how we can leverage the mules of functionality for this integration. Thank you.